Hi everybody, uh, this is Sujin, and uh, this is my first time doing a video with my uh, voice in it. And uh, today I'm going to show you this rig here I did yesterday. It's a cable roller. So uh, there are actually two videos. The first one I'm going to show you how to use it. Just go through all the attributes for each controllers. And uh, the second video, I will explain to you how I built it. And also, uh, there's a link for downloading this rig right underneath this video screen. So if you want to use it, and uh, feel free to grab it. OK, let's start from the first controller. So the first controller is. Uh, Oh, by the way, uh, there is a test animation at the end of, of this first video. So uh, if you want to see some results, just uh, jump ahead to see it. You can skip this uh, tutorial part. So uh, the first controller here, the main controller, it's a very typical main controller. It translates, it rotates, and the scales, everything all together, very typical. And uh, the next one, second one, is this roller control. This one is actually the most important controller. You're probably going to use it to animate most of the time. And uh, let's talk about uh, the last attribute here, main control visibility. It hides the main controller, because once you're done positioning your device in your scene, you probably just want to get rid of it by clicking here. Very convenient, isn't it? Okay, so uh, the first attribute, rotate x, it rotates the barrel, so the barrel also grabs the cable, and the cable wraps up on this barrel, let's follow that. And uh, there's a small problem, because this rig is a very heavily expression-based uh, rig. So uh, sometimes when you first o first time open this thing, uh, this barrel may not follow the controller, but it is actually still working because the expression need to be refreshed by sliding on the time slider here just slide just move a little now use your mouse slide on the time slider a little it will refresh the expression and uh, it will start to work the result well to show up so the next attribute offset what this thing does is sometimes you don't like the shape of this cable. For example, maybe you move uh, this cable controller too closer to this barrel. Also, this barrel can be reshaped. There's also a shape attribute here. I'll talk about that later. But uh, for some reason, maybe you don't like how this cable is. Uh, shaped at the beginning, you can use this offset to correct that. But uh, I don't really expect you to animate this attribute. It, it is for correction only. So at the at the beginning, you use it, and once you're done with it, just don't touch it anymore. It would just uh, just keep it the number it is if you are happy with the result. Okay, so the third attribute is called tip attach. For example, if you want to detach the cable. 
if you move this controller, this cable controller, the first cable controller here, see maybe you have a character carrying this uh, the tip of this cable, like ding 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 ding. It was trying to hook this thing up to the barrel. What you could do is you could detach it first and let the character do the acting and carry this thing over here. Then you attach it. Simple, right? Okay, so uh, after this one is uh, guide visibility. This one is very important, actually. Right now it's hidden, and we can show it. This guide is uh, actually uh, the passage of this rope when it is on the barrel. So uh, if you shape this geometry, and it, it will shape the cable. For example, if you grab some vertex here and uh, add a cluster, and let's roll up. Okay, all the cable gets on the barrel. So uh, then you grab this cluster. You can actually add your own customized uh, controller to control this cluster. Or you can just animate this cluster. See, you can grab a piece of this cable here and you can animate this. See, maybe a character trying to pull out this cable here. And of course, you don't have to show the geometry. You can hide the geometry, hide the guide, and just grab the controller and pull this cable. Interesting, right? Okay, so the next one is called shape. What this thing does is it shapes this roller into, uh, let's say, different type types of uh, roller. So right now it is one. Let's set to zero point five. This could be I don't know, like a. A roller for a kite, maybe. Could fly fly a kite with this kind of roller, or change the shape to uh, say two. This could be a very heavy uh, electricity cable roller, and you can also shape this these bars here, and also you can shape the base here with these two attributes the roller lens yeah like this this more look like uh, you know something you see uh, on the side of the road construction work kind of electricity cable roller and all you could maybe shape these bars here this looks like a, a part of a, a robot maybe Okay, that's for that. Also, there's one attribute here. This is called uh, self-rolling. What this thing does is it rolls 
the roller without rolling the cable. You can use that as a offset for your animation. For your animation. As for that, we covered roller lens bar wise. These attributes here are pretty simple. They hide geometries. That's for that. Okay, next is the rope controller. So once you have your rope released to the world, not on the not on the roller, you can animate the outer part of this rope. You can shape it and animate these things. And actually you can detach because I have detach here. You can detach this cable totally away from this barrel and it could be a individual rope rig. Well you shouldn't touch the rolling here, otherwise they still got wrapped up on this roller. There's one small problem I need to mention before this video ends is uh, when, because uh, this uh, rope is a motion pass it's a hair follicle based rig so uh, there's a geometry base underneath this rig so uh, when you pull a controller at a certain point this geometry will twist to fix that it's very easy you have to keep the flow of this geometry by rotating the controller so it only bends without twisting just keep the flow of this curve here it will be totally fine yep thanks for watching and uh, yeah, that's it that's for the function part and uh, you are very welcome to watch the next video and also watch the test animation of this. Thanks.